Welcome back to the GOG server. Last time our hero found a mimic queue and built a bathhouse. Let's see what our hero has planned for this episode. Hello and welcome to episode 4 on the GOG server. I'm so happy to be back. It's so much fun on here. We're going to start today's adventures off trying to find a low in Vulpix. What is this guy? An avalog? Let's try and catch this guy. <laughs> Why not? Maybe we can put him in our area. <laughs> Come on, it's meant to be. What is that? Oh, that's new. All these new Pokemons. We need to catch this one too. See. First time's a charm. I love these quick balls. <laughs> they make catching Pokemon so much easier. Yay, we got it. What is this? So many new guys. Bergamite. Let's try and catch him too. Will we go in the ball? So many distractions. Let's see. <laughs> That's awesome. Let's go over here and see what we can find. Maybe we'll sleep though, just in case so we don't get any of those skeleton nudes with the slow arrows. Always good to get your beauty rest. <laughs> Alright, let's go see. Maybe over towards the forest. I think I see something on the map up here. Oh, what is that? Let's see. Oh, this would be a really cool area to. Well, hello, another ESQ. They're so cute. <laughs> Imagine a base filled with these guys. <laughs> Why not? Ooh, nice. Can't forget that. Oh, Seal! You're so cute! Okay, we caught one of those already, so let's keep going. Mm, maybe in the water? Let's see what's down here. Anything new? Is. Well, there doesn't seem to be anything new over here. Maybe let's check this way and see. I thought I saw something on the map that looked funny. Oh, what are you? I wonder if I can catch you with the first Pokeball. Let's try and see. Come on. My mouse keeps on getting stuck. <laughs> Any luck? Let's see. Come on. Barracudas are such cool animals in real life. Ah, uh, I think we're just gonna kill this guy for now. <laughs> we can always catch another one later. Let's can level up our Pokemons in the meantime. Let's continue on our journey. I see a Baneri. <gasps> what? Oh! Oh! <gasps> is that what I think it is? Oh my god! Yes! You are adorable. Yes, you are. <laughs> so I found out after Googling a little bit that once they turn into a Ninetales, they become a fairy type. Well, fairy ice type. So I definitely want this on my team for when we build our gym. Let's see. Yay! We cut it! Good job, pancakes. Yes. Good job. <laughs> Woohoo! We got it! Let's go! The next morning. So we're back at the base doing some terraforming. I wanted to flatten out a really big area for this next project. 
I wanted to make a hokey daycare type thing. Like in the game, how they have the old men and old lady daycare people. So that's what we're gonna do here. We'll just jump into a time lapse so you don't have to watch the boring part of leveling all of this. Let's go! This building ended up being a lot bigger than what I <laughs> initially thought, but I think it turned out pretty cute, so I wanted to show you the interior that I did right after I did it offline, of course. And then I got that windmill off of a reference off of Pinterest, so I thought it looked pretty cute. But yeah, this is it. They have a little pond just in case they want to relax, like the little Pokemons. Ring the doorbell. And Cobble Care, we breed for you. We're gonna have all kinds of Pokemon breeding in here. I did the roof and the floor as a Pokeball thing. And then there's area for seating. You can see Froki and Ditto are already relaxing there. And then you have all your pasture blocks for breeding. Hello, daycare lady. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so you go back behind here and you can see which ones have the eggs these are all Dillion's eggs so we'll put them in a cupboard for him <laughs> for later <laughs> he's been breeding up a storm back here for convenience we have a computer and light switches in case you want to change the lights or change the moods and then yeah it's more storage and stuff just in case you can put your Pokemons in here to read. And then, as you can see, I already have a Ditto and a Rotom. <laughs> Hopefully we get a baby soon. So yeah, and then the PC, so you can adjust it. Thank you very much. <laughs> we'll go check out. Over here I made a little apartment for both of them. So, this is a daycare man. And a nice little kitchen area. Hello, sir. How's it going today? <laughs> he's he's going to be looking after the eggs when nobody's around. There's another entrance out here just in case. And then upstairs, we go up this ladder. They have their beds and a little disco ball up in the corner. Just simple but comfortable for them. <laughs> That's the main thing. Thank you, sir, for your services. Keep our eggs safe. So yeah, the next thing we want to do is I wanted to get a Cleffa or Clefairy and you can only get them during a full moon. So we're going to head over to a meadow area because I think that's where you get them. Wish us luck! Been walking around here forever now. Are you a... No. Oh, another Iggly buff. They keep fooling me. I keep thinking that they're Cleffas, but they're not. <laughs> 
one eternity later. Chicken, you're not a cleffa. Wait, what was? <gasps> it's a cleffa! Oh my god! Okay, let's try and catch this. Really don't want to mess this one up. Oh, what the? A big child! Oh no, I'm stuck. Oh, it... just a second. Oh my god, there's a whole group of them. They brought the whole family. No child, not today. I don't want to lose this. Oh no! Oh my god. Why? Not today. It took so many hours. Please don't kill me now. Oh, and now we're in a hole. Oh my god. Don't want to go too far from this. Oh, another hole. Oh my god. Now we're really stuck. <laughs> oh no. I can hear them coming. Oh jeez. Let's try and get out of here and get back before it runs away. Oh, oh. I don't want to die here, <laughs> not today, Satan. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay. Oh, just a little breather. <laughs> my mouse keeps getting stuck when I try and eat stuff. Okay, let's heal up and try and find some blocks to pull her back up. So we don't lose this cleffa. It's taken so long to find. So many days without full moons, and so many days in the Driftstone Caves. There you are. Yay. Phew. Alright. Let's try and catch you if my mouse will work with me. I really need to get a new one. <laughs> so annoying. Okay, there we go. Got it. <laughs> oh, please get caught in the first... Let's see. Is that Cleffa? No. Oh! <gasps> We cut it! Yes! <laughs> Woohoo! Good job! Yay! Twelve seconds later. Of course, we gotta show this off. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh, the animation is so cute. I wonder if it'll go on my shoulder. Here, let's see. <clears throat> Will you? Oh! <gasps> Yes! Oh my god, it's adorable. Anyways, Panda wanted to go and see if we could catch a Togepi. So we're gonna go on one more adventure. Let's go meet up with him now. Thank god I don't have to go through it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's oh, gonna be parkour since I'm a rock. Is that a temple? What is that? Oh no, it's frogs! <laughs> I don't think there's temple in Mangrove. <laughs> Do you see the little icon so? Yeah, I was like, it looks oh. like a temple though. I, I get it. <laughs> I don't know whether you're being sarcastic or oh. honest. What? Executor! Huh? Oh, a normal one, not the yellow one. Mm -hmm. so graciously gifted. The Vernon Falls. Oh, you little far fetched dingus. Get in the ball. Yeah, I got him. Woo! Nice. I just cut a Paris. Oh, nice. Over here. There's a Ralph. Sprig. Sprig. Can I catch it? Yeah, that's what I was looking. I will breed you one. Sprigatito? Sprigatito. Sprigatito! Oh my god! Yes! Is that a starter? Yeah! I'll breed one for you. Oh! Okay. Uh oh. That switch. Why is he in the tree? <laughs> <laughs> you good, bro? Don't worry, I won't kill it. Oh, really? oh, do you have that one that like brings it down to one HP? Yeah. Nice. What level is my my friendship is a hundred and seven with my Munchlax? What does it mean to evolve? Uh, one sixty. All right, we're getting there. Taking this pumpkin. 
Yes! After wandering for what seemed like an eternity trying to find Togepi, we run into Dillion at the Wadeland Mansion. Lucky for us, he had some life-saving advice on how to catch the elusive Cobblemon. Okay. So if you see one without like a, uh, a like sprite over it, that might be one. Like there's one over that way. That might be it. Hold on, let me check. Oh, I see. Uh... <gasps> it is! Oh my god! Yeah, that's one. Oh, hello! Oh my god, I love it already. Thank you! Yeah, Panda? Describe it. You can just go by like random blank dots on the map. <laughs> yes. Hello. Sweet, thank you. <laughs> right after you, we looked forever everywhere else, and then as soon as you said that, there's one right there. Boop. So, what Dylan just said, Panda? Do you hear that? Yeah, I don't know what you mean. I don't see things um, on that. I didn't see it on the map. There's like an arrow thing. <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> After we got Togepi, I decided to try battling it a bit to get it to evolve. If we could get Togekiss, that could make our new mode of transportation. While we're in the jungle, there's also a fairy type electric type legendary that spawns in here, so we may as well try. Oh, Squackabilly. That should give enough experience. Hopefully we can get it. I know the friendship has to be 160, so let's see. Let's kill this. Oh, yes, it's ready! Awesome! Okay, let's see. Get to an open spot here so we can see what it looks like. <laughs> the problem with the jungle, there's so many bushes to try and go around. Okay, let's see. Oh, you're so cute like you are. Definitely gonna have to breed more so we can have the walking around everywhere. Let's see. So that's what it looks like now. And then let's get in there and evolve it. Oh, well, that's cute. Not quite what I was expecting, but it's still cute. I'm pretty sure in our ender chest back at the house here, we should have a shiny stone, I think it is, that it needs to evolve. We'll put you there. And let's see. Yay! Yeah, we have one out there. Let's see. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so glad that was the right one. Yes! Oh my goodness, you're so cute. I like this so much better. <laughs> you're gonna help us build. After finally evolving Togekiss, we now have the means to build a lot easier. There was a few more villager houses that I wanted to build and an ugly cactus farm to cover. So no more dilly-dallying, let's head straight into a time lapse. The last building on the cactus farm, I took a break and forgot to press record. So here's a lovely view of the finished area instead. Simple yet cute. They'll do the job. We'll get some more villagers in these soon. Maybe next episode. And then up here we have the cactus farm, which I forgot to record, but it's simple. It's easy. And it produces just passively quite a bit, actually. That's all we'll need. So anyways, 
In the comment section, we had a suggestion from the Ale Alejandricus. <laughs> Sorry, I said your name wrong. Um, and he wanted us to build a massive aquarium to put some lepros and other couple mons and stuff in. So I figured the best spot for that might be the bathhouse. We're going to put um, some see-through glass so you can look through and see it. And then a lake over top. So let's head over there and start building that now. This was such a good idea. Thank you so much for commenting about that. I had so much fun building this and it was such a different build from what we've done so far. Anyways, that's all the time we have today. So if you like this episode, please like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that because it's free and it helps the algorithm find my videos better. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> so anyways, thanks for watching. Toodaloo. Bye-bye! We'll see you in the next episode on the GOG server. Yep. Bye! What new cobble mons will our hero find next? What daring deeds or adverse adventures will our hero get into? Tune into the next episode to find out.